is Lacey, and I'm making this video for all of my friends and family who may not exactly know what I'm going through, haven't done my research, or even people that are actually going through what I'm going through. I have Wagner's granulomatosis, which is a type of vasculitis, and basically it affects your blood vessels and it causes them to become inflamed, and small tumors can grow in your body. And it mostly affects your airways, your lungs, and your kidneys. It can lead to kidney failure if not caught in time. Luckily, my doctors caught mine pretty early. This disease, it caused my throat to close up and my nasals to basically fuse together. Um, I have gotten that removed, but because that happened to me, I had to get a tracheostomy so I can breathe until they got the disease under control. And for those of you who don't know what a tracheostomy is, it's a hole cut into your trachea to help you breathe. This is a trach tube. And so this just goes into your throat like this and it's just there. And it has a tie, obviously like this, that holds it onto your neck. And then it has an inner cannula that comes out like that. Cleaned, which I have to clean it probably like five, six times a day because I cough and people don't know this, but there's mucus in your chest that like when you clear your throat, basically you're clearing the mucus that comes up. That happens to me all the time except for it goes into this tube instead of into my throat. Although I've learned that sometimes I can cough, plug the hole and cough. Sometimes it'll go up like normal and I can clear my throat like normal. Or I have a coughing attack. Because if I'm not in public, I can't just run to the bathroom and clean them. <coughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? Clicks into place, and there it is. I have to push this to talk so that the air can go through it and go through my vocal cords. Otherwise, if I don't, it sounds like it's kind of here. But mostly, you hear the air. And it reminds me of those old smoking commercials, but the worst part is going out in public and having people stare at me thinking that I'm a smoker. That is the worst. Don't do that. Don't stare at people who are burned or... Um, I feel like a freak show is what I feel like when I go out. And it's horrible. I like it in the winter time because I can at least put a scarf around and nobody really notices until I talk, of course, because then I have to put my finger up there and it's like why are you touching your throat what is going on yes everyone I have a trach it's how I breathe get over it um, with the trach I have to be careful when I shower because water is water goes in there basically you're drowning so I can't have water around my head there obviously I can't go swimming and that really stinks because when I was in junior high, I used to be on a swim team, and I love to swim. It's so fun, and it's great exercise, and it's summertime. The side effects of this disease, um, tired, tired, I lost a lot of weight, just like any other autoimmune disease. If you have one, then you know it's hard. Um, I got sick a lot, like uh, colds and flus, like all the time, and my nose was constantly running. I was going to college at this time too. I was a year and year and a half, year into college when I started getting really sick. And they don't know what causes Wagner's. Um, I think that the cause of most autoimmune diseases are stress, which at that time I was very stressed out, not from school, just from life in general. Luckily I have a good support system. I have my lovely boyfriend Adam, who's by my side all the time and very supportive. It started out with, I just, my nose was stuffy all the time. I couldn't figure out why. And I didn't have insurance, so I just went to the county doctor. And I basically got a run around for a year, a little over a year, saying I had allergies. And I'd never had allergies my whole life. I've been pretty healthy. I just couldn't understand. I kept telling him, I don't have allergies. I know my body. So if you feel like something's wrong and the doctor's telling you one thing, you really feel like, something else and listen to your body because um that was true for me this was the first time in my life that I was like no the doctor's wrong I know this is something else finally friends and family pitched in and I got um, insurance 
which I went straight to the ENT, ears, nose, and throat doctor, and finally got some answers, which they diagnosed me right away with Wagner's disease, which is a hard disease to diagnose, so thank God I had a good doctor. And I got put on some pretty strong drugs, which um, I'm put on prednisone, uh, has some crazy side effects, including nausea, indigestion, high blood pressure, fluid retention, weight gain, trouble sleeping, your skin can be thin and bruised easily, um, it can lead to diabetes because your blood sugar goes up, uh, if you have it over, if you're taking it over a long period of time, which I've been taking it for a year and a half now, can re you can have blurry vision or cataracts, luckily I haven't really noticed anything with that, but I'm thanking God for all of the uh, side effects that I am not suffering from. Unfortunately, I am suffering from weight gain. Um, since I've started this uh, medication the last two years, I've gained 30 to 40 pounds. So it's horrible. Let's be honest, it's horrible. Nobody likes it, especially me because I have to look at myself in the mirror. My boyfriend says he can't tell, but honestly, I went up two or three sizes, I think you can tell. I'm also on azathioprine, which is, they use it for chemotherapy sometimes, but basically it suppresses your immune system so that, like for me, the autoimmune system basically is your immune system is in overdrive and it's attacking all the good things in your body and thinking that everything's bad and it needs to calm down. Unfortunately, it can lead to hair loss, which stress does too, so I thought, well, this whole time I've been losing hair. Luckily, I have a sister who's a hairdresser, and thank God for that. I also have Crohn's disease, and I don't know if any of you know what Crohn's disease is, but basically, it's also an autoimmune disease that affects your bowels. I got pains in my stomach, after I ate, I couldn't eat spicy foods or a lot of sugars. Um, I didn't really notice, I noticed that the main thing that caused it was like spaghetti and stuff like that. Um, or anything spicy, pepperoni, sausage, peppers, salsa, cayenne, chili peppers, anything with spice in it, I could not eat it. I would just be running to the bathroom. Luckily, I'm not inflamed right now. Um, both of these diseases have no cures, unfortunately. So, I'm going to put a link for the Vasculitis Foundation underneath if you want to check into, like, I don't know, donating money for a cure or something. I'm sure all of us with vasculitis or any form of it, it has, like, 13 diseases included in the term vasculitis. Um, would a very much appreciate that because we need to find a cure. So I had, I've had Crohn's since 2002 and I've had Wagner's, I was diagnosed in 2010, the end of 2010, so a year and a half. And my Crohn's disease is, it's in remission, I would say. I still struggle with it from now and then. There's no bleeding, there's no going to the hospital for it. I'm not on medication, I'm not really seeing a doctor for it, I'm just kind of living with it. I would like to get some of the symptoms down, but it's not really like a, an obstacle to like beat, but it's a pain every day, mostly in the morning, in the day, it doesn't really bother me. It's a struggle for me, um, emotionally and physically, but mostly emotionally. I get stressed out easily. And I feel people's anxiety and their stress, and which makes me more stressed, and I'm sure that doesn't help my health at all. But um, I'm getting through it um, emotionally, and just, I'm kind of a wreck, because um, even though I am so thankful that I have a boyfriend that takes care of me, um, we are not the richest of people, and I can't really help him out with that right now until I am off these drugs and without this trait, because with the drugs and the trait, and if I'm around anybody, I can catch something like that. So it's not good for me to be in the workplace. Um, plus, this 
Uh, Drake has no filter. Basically, I'm breathing in whatever junk is in the air and it's going straight into my lungs. It's horrible. I try to keep my living situation very clean. I'm trying to keep a support system around me and thinking positively because I really do believe with all my heart that our mind is very powerful. I believe that's where prayer is. I believe that's whatever you want to call it. I believe that we are very powerful people. And if you believe in God, I believe that God makes us very powerful. He created us to be like this. So we can create sickness in our body and we can also heal sickness in our body with our thoughts. That's what I believe. And so I am trying to keep on the positive way of thinking and keep positive people around me. Um, I really do enjoy doing art. I've really gotten into pastel painting lately and um, I make really cool bracelets, like painting bracelets with acrylics and gel pins and stuff. I'm really liking that. I never knew I was that artistic. I mean, I am an interior design major, but uh, I didn't know I was that artistic. I'm just getting through it day by day, but it's very hard. I'll probably be uploading more videos of like things I do because it's causing me to keep my brain off of being depressed because it's so easy to get depressed when you're living like this. So everyone just be with me with your thoughts and prayers. I have another surgery coming up in August um, to remove another tumor in my throat that has grown and it's obstructing my airway again. Thank God I have a trach, but um, I want to get this trach out so I can live normal again and resume my life. And I just got a bachelor's degree, bachelor's of fine arts in interior design, and I want to use it. I want to go out and I want to sell things to people and I want to make people's homes happy. These are both horrible diseases that came out of the blue and there's no cause and there's no cure and I don't understand. Like I said, I believe that your mind is a very powerful thing and I will beat this, I will be normal again, I will live a happy life. And the thing is I need to embrace happiness now and that's a little bit of a challenge for me. I need to be grateful for what I do have. I can breathe, I can walk somewhat. I can somewhat exercise. My hips, my knees, and my ankles are really not feeling good from all the medications that I'm on. I feel like I'm losing bones or something. But it's not fun. It's, it's hard to lay down. I can't breathe when I lay down. Um, yeah. It's not fun. But that's life, right? So I hope that you guys got some good information about what Wagner's is, what Crohn's disease is. Thank you for um, being such a support team for me, and I hope that this was helpful. Thank you.